how much money did you personally, from your personal money, put in for the land? Half. So have you listed this land with a broker? I'm in the process yeah. right now of... You uh, are? Yes, ma'am. I Great. have an appointment next week with a realtor. Oh, fabulous. Then you're here all here a little prematurely because what you have to do with property is sell it, and if it's in both your names, you're going to divide it in half. Do you understand? That's what I wanted to do, but well, he wanted more than half, and no, I, well, can, can't, I, no, pay, I paid for the property. Listen, I don't care. Do you understand? So if you're going to sell it, I would suggest you do it civilly because in a civilized way, I don't mean civilly, of course it's civil. I mean in a civilized way, sell it and each take half. Perfect. So you're here prematurely on the land, but that takes care of one problem that I've just resolved. The second one is with the trailer. Who purchased the trailer? She uh, took out a loan on the property and it was coming out of the joint account. I took, okay, so a, just a, I took a signature loan now. I don't care. Sell it. The trailer. How much was the trailer? Twelve thousand five hundred. It's got to be sold and split it. What's next? That's your two items. What do you want? Livestock. Livestock. Yes, Your Honor. What livestock? We had chickens, ducks, turkeys, and uh, hogs. Are you kidding me? No, ma'am. How do you want to split them? She uh, donated. The, what was left after the hogs passed away, uh, a bunch of them passed away from not... Do I look like an idiot to you? Do I look as if I'm going to entertain that part? No, the, Your the, Honor. We're talking about big deal. We're yes, talking about land and a $12,000 trailer that have to be sold and the proceeds divided in half because they're in both your names. Do you understand what yes, I'm saying? Don't talk to me about chickens. So livestock is the first. Anything else? Vending machines. We have uh, candy vending machines. Candy vending machines. Where are they? We have uh, one posted at her aunt's uh, place of business. It's a restaurant. And another one at her other aunt's. There's two there. That's a trucking company. And then there's one at a... Uh, okay. Uh, candy. Uh, convenient. Can were they all purchased at the same time? Different times. With whose money? Both. I purchased two of them. And then she purchased the other three. Give me an idea of what they cost. You can get them uh, at a garage sale or a thrift shop for anywhere up to fifteen to a hundred dollars. I'm not asking you what you can get them up to. I'm asking you what they cost. If you buy them brand new, around what four, did you pay for them? Maybe I paid that's two hundred. Uh, paid one hundred and fifty dollars for the two that I bought. For both. Of for both of them. And I have a picture. Just... For both of them. Yes, Your Honor. $75 a piece, $150. Yes, ma'am. And where are the two that you bought? One is at her aunt's restaurant and the other is at the chiropractor. Okay. What do you want from her? I want the keys for those two machines. Who has the keys? She does. What do you plan on doing with them when you get the keys to the machines? Maintaining them. Do you collect money from them? Yes, Your Honor. How much money did you collect from them? You have the keys. The keys are at the house. The last time we checked the coins, you get like 40 to $50 out of them. Ms. Thompson, this is what I'm suggesting to you. He wants the keys to the two machines that he says he purchased for $150. But they're mine. I purchased them. Show me. Both show me that you... They were both uh, bought at a garage sale. What do you want from me? How They're at my aunt's restaurant, and my chiropractor, I put them there. Where are the other three? Ma'am? He said you have five all together. Yes, ma'am. Where are the other three? There's two at my aunt's in Sulphur, one at my aunt's restaurant in Starks, one at my chiropractor, and one, which it's that one in Lake Charles is his that's at um, a chemical plant, and the other ones that he bought, he sold. Okay, so he has one, according to you. Yes, ma'am. Do you have the key to that? I think so. Great. Give him the key to that one. Okay. Perfect. He gets one key, and you have had your two items, and you're here prematurely because you have to sell the property of the trailer, and I suggest that you divide the proceeds equally. Goodbye. Thank you. Your Honor, what about my livestock? I just told you about your livestock. She uh, donated what I had. I don't care. Why does that excuse me? Step out. I think it's horrible that she believed what he said. I finally had enough. People like him can just fake their way through everything and be fun. It's been a learning experience, and I'm glad to be out of that.